So I've tried to record this video multiple times now. I think I'm on take six or seven. It's taken me a while to get this because I want to convey to you guys that um, Jinko did send out this headset to me. Um, it's the G90s. It's their new version of their headset that they have. It's a wireless headset. Um, recently, I did the best, I, in my opinion, Amazon USB headset for around $50 on the channel, wherever there'll be a link in the description uh, to that video if you're interested in a USB connection. But to me, the one I'm gonna talk about today is probably one of the best, if not the best, um, USB headset uh, that's wireless for around $50. And it's not the one Jinko sent out to me. It is Jinko's, but it's not the one they sent out to me. They wanted to collaborate because I've done a video on one of their speaker a little systems or wherever, uh, I think it was like last year or something along those lines. And they saw me do the headset review for the fine, fine, um, which I had purchased with my own money. So again, they sent it out to me, this headset that I'm about to tell you guys about. Um, they do not see the video before it goes live. If they did, they probably would stop me. I just want to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. There's a, there's enough people on YouTube who are not being transparent with people who are going to spend their money on products. Um, everything that's man-made always has problems and issues. Nothing is perfect. I, I, even me, I've done that sometimes where I'd be like, this problem is so minute and whatever, but I describe the problem and you could see that it could actually be a problem for somebody. But when they're describing a minute problem or whatever, and it's like, who would this really bother? Then I would not trust that YouTuber, that content creator, or that product reviewer at all, because there's always glaring issues. Just like when you go buy a car, the car might look nice and everything, but any smart person would know there's always gonna be problems with cars. You're gonna have to get tires. You might, might have to end up getting rims. If you get in a car accident, all the stuff that you're gonna have to pay, like all that stuff comes with a car. It don't matter how nice the car is, all those problems are still going to exist. Speaking of which, that brings me to the Jinko uh, G90s. I would say do not get this headset. This headset feels cheaply made. It doesn't feel like you should be purchasing this for the price tag. I'll put the price tag on screen. I think it's around $50. Um, it does not feel like uh, that is even worth the the price of the materials it's made out of. Um, if you're in the US, then you know that Dollar General or uh, Dollar Tree, this is the kind of headset that you would find in there as far as that's how it feels. The, the earmuffs, um, they look like they're about to stain already. You probably can't tell because of the color correction that I put on this video. Um, obviously they're orange and everything. It's orange and black. It's gonna really be hard to fit into somebody's um, aesthetic as far as their setup and everything goes. Black and orange, it doesn't make really any sense. Again, I've only used this for like a short period and within a day. And it already, like I said, the earmuffs looking like they're going to uh, stain or change color or whatever for prolonged use. And again, I've only used these headsets for maybe four hours, five hours trying to get it to work. We'll get to that in a second. As you can see, this is already falling apart. And within that time frame of me taking off the headset and putting it back on, it already falling apart. That's not me ripping it just now. It's still the glue. It's still a little sticky so I can you know push it back up or wherever but me constantly putting it on taking off putting it on taking off trying to get this thing to um, work and just being really annoyed and frustrated um that's what happened um it's super lightweight it fits over the head or wherever the band you can still feel a little bit of tension but it doesn't feel like you're wearing a headset too too much um so it does win in the comfortability department it has a 20 hour battery life um usb type c charging it comes with a usb dongle uh no bluetooth or anything like that so you're tied to um some kind of form of being plugged to a PC or a laptop or something along those lines. Um, two buttons on the back to mute the, the mic and power on the headset. You have a little volume scroll wheel, just the scroll wheel just, it feels bad. Like everything about this, it just, it seems like I would give this to my son if he was maybe five years old or something like that. And then he wanted to watch a show like on a tablet or something. But then again, it does have Bluetooth at this price point. So that's already another drawback. Um, I'm going to do a mic test. This is how it sounds. All right. So these are the Jinko G90s. Um, like I said, this headset is really comfortable. Sometimes that static, it's just, it's just unpredictable. Sometimes it will sound good. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes it will happen. Sometimes it won't. The unpredictability of it is just what really, uh, 
is a deal breaker for me. Yeah, it's just completely unbearable and unusable uh, for me because I am getting that static feedback when it's plugged in. I've tried two PCs um, and they're pretty beefy PCs now. And um, I tried two different laptops and I still get this sound and you hear the feedback, not the humming, but the static like rustling feedback that you get when you're putting an aux uh, cord into a port. That's the sound that I'm getting constantly it happens sporadically sometimes you won't hear it for a minute and then it comes in or wherever and sometimes it's every five seconds it doesn't matter what i do again multiple devices to me that says a lot when your your quality control is bad when you're sending it out for a review and you're telling people to uh, do a review don't compare it to your older headset get to that in a second and it's just where's the quality of life view why is the usb dongle not working um why is the headset already falling apart? The comfortability is nice. The 20 hour battery life is nice. And that's like the only two thing, the two things about it or wherever. Oh, and it has the swivel option, I guess, for the headset or wherever. That's like maybe three things and the rest are just bad. So save your money. Don't get this headset at all, regardless if they sent it to me or not, regardless if I paid for it or not. Um, I just, I can't in, in good conscience tell people to spend their money on something like that. But what I can tell you is that the one that you actually came in to watch the video today about is actually the Jinko G80s. Now these are their older headsets. Um, it only has a 10 hour battery life because it has RGB. The RGB is not addressable. You can't turn it off individually. That might be some drawbacks for some people, but most people uh, I'm probably not doing a 10 hour stint or wherever at their desk gaming, um, maybe with content creation and then gaming wherever you might end up around the 10 hour mark. Headset might not be for you as far as that goes. The overall feel of the headset, it's hard, 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 hard plastic. It's durable, hard plastic. Um, it would be really hard for you to break it. Like if you dropped it or you in a rage moment, you took it off and, and just like dropped it on the ground, it's not gonna break. Um, the other headset might, but these are not gonna break. Um, it only comes in this colorway, but it's still at least somewhat attractive. And I feel like more people would buy this. The RGB is not too bright or anything like that. Um, so it's not gonna like be amazing like these lights behind me, but it's nice. Again, not ad uh, addressable. The ear cups do not look like they're going to stain. I've been using these literally for two weeks. I've been dancing on my streams. If you're interested in something like hip hop dancing or gaming or anything, there's a link in the description to my kick over there. But I do dance on my streams. I dance in it, obviously sweating, wearing a beanie, uh, earrings, glasses, do rags, all that stuff or wherever. Never had a problem with the clamping force. That's the only negative that I've seen on the reviews of this headset that people said you might get some head fatigue after a while because of the clamping force. My ears don't touch the drivers or touch the back of the wall or anything like that. The cups, like I said, feel comfortable. They don't feel like they're going to lose their sponginess or anything after a long period of time, whereas the other ones do a lot of step backs with the G90 compared to the G80s. You don't get that swivel motion. This is not Bluetooth. It's still just straight up USB, but it does come with the aux port so you can plug it up to your Xbox controller, uh, use it on PlayStation with the the usb dongle um use it on anything with the usb dongle but then you have the aux port again no bluetooth sadly here i would say get this this is probably out of all the headsets that i've tested but the reason why i say get these is because these actually feel like music is supposed to sound and the reason why i say that is because even on some expensive headsets because i've seen some people do reviews um especially for gaming headsets um, you might get all the footstep sounds and everything like that for battle royales and everything, which is good if that's what you want. But when it comes to actual listening to music while you're playing or while you're live streaming and doing that as well, um, music usually takes a hit somewhere in the sound. You lose the clarity. Um, you lose the muddiness. If you like a lot of bass, like trap music, um, as far as like the dubstep version of trap music, not that trash that people say that's hip hop rap. Um, but you like a lot of instrumentals, some, something that's not necessarily bass heavy, but has some bass to it and everything. Um, you are going to love these. Um, they're not that over tweaked bass where, you know, the bass is set at zero and the headset somehow says oh the base is set at zero you mean 200 percent it's it's not like that um it's like if you had it maxed out and the base was at zero and you had the volume maxed out and the song had a little bit of bass to it i would say it's maybe plus two plus 
five at the most when you have it maxed out versus other headsets like i said are plus 100 plus 200 or wherever all you hear is bass you lose the mids you lose the highs all that stuff wherever that doesn't happen on this headset it's just a little bit extra bump to the to the bass so what i do is i keep the headset there's no scroll wheel wherever it's a couple click what i do is i max out the headset it makes a pinging noise when you maxed out or you completely muted the headset I hit the button like three times or four times back down, depending on what's going on or wherever, what type of music it is. And then on my gaming or wherever, I take the master volume, not all the other volumes, but the master volume, I usually leave it around 80 anyways. I turn that down to about 75, between 75 and 80, depending on what game I'm playing. Uh, other than that, I have a little uh, soundboard or wherever that controls all my um, different app volumes and stuff. Some music turning up and down or wherever, and I'm good to go. And then, like I said, I can get up, turn that music volume slider all the way up, still have the headset on Mac, and um, I can dance on stream or wherever, get the punchiness and the bass that I need for my music. Having a headset like this is awesome. The comfortability, again, I wear glasses, hat, hats, do rags, everything. I've been wearing this for about two weeks. Uh, my longest stint with it is almost six hours hours wearing the headset and um again every single day constantly wearing the headset haven't felt anything or whatever from it like i said there are cons to it no no swivel no bluetooth um made out of some super hard plastic it's not a premium experience like at all as far as unboxing neither the headsets are but i think for around this price point the only con that i would see that would really bother people is no bluetooth so it's your mileage is going to vary around this price point but again if you're looking for something that looks good it's a good conversational piece when somebody comes in your live streams or, or see your setup or wherever if you are looking for something that might be a little bit comfortable for you and on top of that you're looking for it to be in white and you're looking to save a little money but still get good sound quality because it says 7.1 surround sound whereas the newer ones don't say anything along those lines uh don't use this headset don't get it please don't uh, i'll give you a sound test of this all right so here is the audio test of the g80s from jinko i'm having it correctly proportioned from my mouth how you should have a microphone i'm not having it directly like in my mouth or anything like most people do with headsets um, i'm talking normally how i normally would i'm not talking too loud or too soft or anything like that just normal monotone baseline you can hear some reflections in my voice and everything again jinko i'm sorry for you know bashing the headset and everything but here on the channel like i said i want to be honest with you guys if something's bad regardless if somebody sent it to me or not regardless if it gets me blacklisted from companies or anything like that you as the viewer you as the person that's going to spend your money buying something need to make sure that you make an informed correct decision by spending your money and that's the whole point of this channel with that being said hopefully you guys can take care have a squid day god bless you and yours and deuces everybody much love